Hey everybody, Jim Midnight Road Garage. Tonight in our 5.3 No Name Nationals build series, we're going to go ahead and install the oil pump, the oil pump pickup tube, and then the oil pan and the timing chain cover. Now apparently there's a couple different methods to installing this, but this is a Mellings pump. We're going to install it the Mellings way. First thing we do is take a little bit of assembly lube, kind of like hot sauce. I put this stuff on everything. Then we take our oil pump, rock it into place. Then we're going to finger tighten the 10 millimeter bolts. Take our 24 millimeter and spin the engine 360 degrees one time. We take our torque wrench set to 18 foot pounds. Done. I'll mention this again later, but before we fire up the engine, you're going to want to take this plug out here and prime this pump. Next up, we need to get this oil pump pickup tube in place. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the engine over, show you how to install this. Now they have a special plate you can put on your engine stand for these. I'm really seriously thinking about getting one because this does not balance very well. So here's our oil pump pickup tube. Now, as you can see, I got a blue O-ring on here. Now the oil pump also comes with O-rings and they tell you which one to use. The timing chain cover set also comes with uh, O-rings and they also tell you which one to use. This is the one that came with the oil pan and the oil pan tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I'm replacing the stock chuck pan with one that's more suitable to my application. Now, in doing that, the old tube actually was bolted down here and here. You can see these are actually still loose. This one is gonna end up using completely different bolt altogether. So I need to get this one loose and tighten these two back down to 18 foot pounds. I'm gonna take some of this engine assembly lube, put it on the O-ring. Then there's really nothing to this. We're just gonna go ahead and put this in here. Put our 10 millimeter in, torque it down to eight foot pounds. And then we'll put the nut on here, put this one down to 18 foot pounds. There it is. All right, pickup tube is done. Next up is the timing cover. We need to get this out of here. So for the timing chain cover, you want to make sure that you've cleaned all of these surfaces here and here, and of course, around here. Then you want to replace this seal with a new one. Now, unfortunately, I already replaced it. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't do it on camera, but I already replaced the seal. They're not hard to do. Punch the old one out, pop the new one in, you know, just knock it in using the old seal, what I usually do. So this is not like a uh, like a small block Chevy timing chain cover where you just kind of put it on, bolt it in, and you're good. Now this has to be, this has a lot of movement. And so what you have to do, you have to use a tool like this, or you can use this. Sometimes a new uh, seal or gasket set comes with this, which you could also use. But you use this right here, and that helps you center it. Then you can also use this plate, which acts like the oil pan to make sure that everything is level and in place. So we're just going to bolt this down real quick. We'll take this back off. We'll put our gasket in, put it in place. So I'm going to put a little bit of assembly lube around the seal, even though I'm sure I'll do this again when I put the harmonic balancer on. But just in case I forget, it'll already be there. This gasket does not require any gasket maker at all. You put it on as is. We've got two bolts in now. They're holding the gasket in place. Let's go ahead and pop this on. Now that should center our timing chain cover where we need it to be. We can now safely put the rest of the bolts on. Just gonna put all the bolts in first and then we'll tighten them down. We'll tighten down these bottom two first and then we'll get the rest of these. Time to start torquing down our bolts. I'm going to go ahead and do these bottom two, even though I'm going to take them back out. I'm going to set these first. 18 foot-pounds. Takes care of the timing cover. Next up on the list is an oil pan. I am using a GM oil pan gasket. This isn't a Felpro or anything like that. It's an actual GM. This gasket requires no gasket maker. Uh, however, you do want to make sure your surfaces are free of any junk and nasty stuff that will cause your gasket to 
not seal properly. It only fits one way. So we are just going to set this in place. And we're going to take our new oil pan and set it in place. Now, this oil pan and a lot of the parts I'm using for this came from Walter Racecraft. Uh, he is a really good dude and a wealth of knowledge for doing third gen F body uh, LS swaps. So that's pretty much all he focuses on. So if you're doing a third gen LS swap, you might want to look him up. His uh, link to his site is in the description. You know, I bet it's that windage tray. This is why you should always test fit this stuff first. Before you make a video. I have another windage tray. I had to swap that out real quick. So this is a windage tray for a different project I have. Uh, it's okay. We'll just go ahead and rob Peter to pay Paul. Go ahead and test this before I bolt it down. Yep, that takes care of that. I really should have gone with my gut when I was messing with that oil pump pickup tube that uh, I should just swap the windage tray at that point, and I should have. Go ahead and do this again. Takes care of that. Okay, we're back on track. We're going to put all the bolts in, but we're not going to tighten it down. There's a tightening order. So if you're familiar with putting on cylinder heads, you'll know exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to start here, go here, and then here, 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 here. Crisscross pattern. That's how we put the bolts in. All right. 18 foot-pounds is what we're doing. Starting here. We'll go here. Now these are supposed to be 106 inch pounds. I don't have an inch pound torque wrench, but that's going to be, I don't know, probably about nine pounds or so. It's good if you're tightening it. It feels it's going to break. Stop. That'll do it. Looks like I still got to get one piece off the old oil pan, but I'm not going to bother with that tonight. So it's been a lot of fun messing around with this LS engine. And uh, I really can't wait to get it into the No Name Nationals Firebird and get to the No Name Nationals. I hope you guys come along with me. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you down the road. Hey, while you're at it, check out this other video. It's, it's right next to the subscribe button.